you have a New Year's resolution? Uh, no. Do you usually make resolutions? No. And why is that? Um, I find generally I don't stick to them, and I don't really see New Year's as a time when, like, I need to make a change. I more make them as I feel I need to throughout the year. Do you think making a New Year's resolution is important to some people? Probably. And what are you looking forward to most for 2010? Um, finishing classes. Do either of you have a New Year's resolution? Um, mine would be to do my readings on time for school. I definitely need to stop spending a lot of money on food on campus, so I'm going to start eating healthier, maybe pack a lunch, bring it to school. I think that's important. Do you always set New Year's resolutions? Yeah, usually. It just never really follows through. I'm the same way. I probably last until February and then it goes downhill from there. And do you think it's important to set a New Year's resolution? Um, it's up to you, whatever your uh, circumstances are, I guess. I think it's more or less just a goal for the year. Um, I think it's important. It's definitely good if you can stick to it, but if you can't, there's always next year. Do you have a New Year's resolution? I don't have one this year. <laughs> do you usually make a New Year's resolution? Uh, sometimes I do. I usually want to do better in school or get more active. <laughs> And why do you think it's important to set one? Um, so that you have something to like look forward to and <laughs> yeah. What are you looking forward to most in 2010? Um, finishing school in summer, yeah. So you're in fourth year? No, just the, just, the, <laughs> just the school year, yeah, just the summer. Do you have a New Year's resolution? I do, uh, my New Year's resolution is to learn how to dance. Yeah. Any particular style of dancing? Anything we'll do right now because, uh, yeah, I can't dance. <laughs> he can, though. So you can dance? Is that part of your resolution then as well? Um, well, I can't really dance and I don't think I ever will. So rather, I think I'm going to try and grow a beard so I can actually learn how to shave because up to now it's just been this like fluff and you can't really do much with that. So I just kind of like, you know, shave here, shave there. I've never had, like, actually, actually had a proper sit down shave and I think I'm, that's my newest resolution. So on to the growing. I'm also going to learn how to grow a beard. I'm going to learn how to grow a beard. I, I can't. So is this kind of a competition that the two of you have? Oh, it's a combined effort. Well, it's, yeah, it's like we're like a team, for, team beard. Team beard and dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you usually, um, do both of you set New Year's resolutions every year? Um, last year I did, but I usually don't. I actually wasn't really a New Year's resolution. It just happened to be at New Year's. So yeah. I think about things that would be nice to change and then ignore them. <laughs> So it's almost like a half effort that you consider it, but then it's you decide against it. Right? So, yeah, it's a thought that counts. So. Now, 2009 has certainly been a wonderful year for films. There was something for everyone from Harry Potter to Julie and Julia. 2009 has also been a year for phenomenons. The Twilight Saga is definitely an example of this, but also zombies have never been so popular. To take a look at one of these films, Zombieland, here's uh, We Eat Films for Breakfast, which is a review program. Zombieland. First off, this movie portrays zombies in an extremely negative light. I mean, I've got a friend who's a zombie, and when he saw this, he was like... The zombies in the movie are portrayed to be evil and heartless, while in fact it's the human characters who can't trust one another. They constantly deceive and con one another. Well, the zombies, well, they act pretty straightforward. I mean, they don't cheat. They don't, they don't hurt one another's feelings. They don't lie. Phone the number on your screen today and help a zombie like Adam here. With your support, he can be a well-rounded zombie. Second off, rules. All right, first, I just want to start off by telling you how much I hate rules in general. Don't drive on the left side of the road. Pay your taxes. Don't kill people. Stay frozen in freeze tag. Rules suck. That's why when Columbus in this film came up with a whack load of rules to help him survive the zombie apocalypse, I knew this film was gonna be a piece of trash. Rule number one, for example, cardio. That's just a load of crap. Again, I was talking to my friend who's a zombie, and he was like, 
I know. If you really want to survive an encounter with a zombie, just let him bite you for God's sake. Don't be a wuss. Then you'll just turn into one. You won't have to worry anymore about them trying to kill you. Because, uh, well, zombies don't kill each other. They get along. We here at the show might eat films once in a while, but zombies would chew this piece of garbage apart all day long. For breakfast, brunch, lunch, dunch, dinner. They might even chew it apart for midnight snack. So yeah, the cast is fine and all. The script's okay. But the way zombies are portrayed in this film, I just can't recommend it. For just one dollar a day, you can give hope. Call now.